My name is Adam James. I was inspired probably mostly by my mum. Um, as kids, we used to go off, they used to take us off to the ballet and the opera. Um, and I enjoyed watching the ballet, opera not so much. Um, and I, we used to do kind of movement classes in nursery school and it just kind of went from there. I started off at a little school in Bristol called the Betty Val School of Dance. Um, halfway through that, I then auditioned to become a Royal Academy Scholar. So I had two classes with them a week while I was still with um, Betty Val School. And then uh, 16 or 17, I just went to the Royal Ballet School. For the ballet, Royal Ballet School, um, I was lucky enough that there were still grants. So the council paid for the fees completely, and then they also paid a certain percentage of what they thought you could live on for the year. Um, luckily, my father was, my father was lucky because the, there was three of us at college or universities all at the same time, and you were only expected to pay the same amount a year um, so uh, most of that was paid because there was three, it was divided by three kind of things, so yeah. I think my, my mum was very happy I did ballet. Um, I think my dad was quite into it. He, they were both, they're both very much into the art still. Um, my elder sister used to dance and she actually went to the Rombert uh, school. Um, so she was, you know, pleased with it. My brother and my other sister, I don't think they got it. <laughs> they don't think they still get it. They're happy I did it, but they, they don't really. I actually, I really enjoyed the Royal Ballet School. I like the, in the first year, it was very regimented in how they taught you things. So you could be, you could see through the week how they would progress an exercise. To, so from the Monday, it would be a kind of an easy version. And by the Friday, it would be a hard version. Um, he, was, he was very good. Um, Second teacher, he was Russian. He was very nice, actually. I liked him. And in the third year, I had Bill Glassman, whose wife was at dance theatre. Um, and he, he was the one who... He, he, I think he kind of tried to take me under his wing kind of thing. He was, he was always... I always felt he was behind me and pushing me forwards more than anybody else. But no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything negative about any of the teachers there. I thought they were all very good. Um, first time I auditioned was for the Royal, for the, be a Royal Academy Scholar. So I would have been about 11, 10, 11 years old. Um, and everybody had to go off to the, it was quite a big studio in Bristol. Um, and they sent, they would send somebody down from London to audition the people. So I did the class, and at the end of the class, they would call people's names up who were going to be offered a scholarship, and my name wasn't called, which I was probably a bit upset about, and my mum was furious about. Um, and when I got home, she talked to my dance teacher, Betty Vowles, and they were both kind of like, you know, this is wrong, that I should have got a scholarship. And basically, we found out later that she didn't know that she could accept me because I was black. And she had to ask other people whether it was all right for, for me to be accepted. So 
in the end, I was accepted. Um, but yeah, only that wasn't a very good experience <laughs> as a first audition. My first professional job was with Dance Theatre of Harlem. Um, I mean, that was all a bit... So I got offered a... I auditioned with them in, when they were on tour in London. Um, and that was in the summer. And then I went over in the January after that. I was still at the Royal Ballet School. And it was actually Bill Glassman got me the audition. Um, and that must have been 1983, the summer of 83. When I first arrived, Julie Felix was there. Um, but I, I don't think she was there for that long while I was there, before she left. Um, but that was it at that time. There was no other English people there. Because of dancing, I'd always stuck out, and it felt... I was part of a group, and that was nice. Paul Bailey, Samantha Webb, Ada Schola, and Greg. Richard Witter. Yeah, we, I, I would like to think that we were good friends. We used to, when we, half the time when we were on tour together, we shared a hotel room. Um, we, got on, we got on well. Rachel, oh, the Rachel Secchi. So she used to teach in the school, Rachel Secchi. She used to teach tap. She yeah, she was there before me. Um, and she was kind of in the school and also teaching tap at the school as well. And then the first proper tour I went, we went to Paris first, where I wasn't actually dancing, but I was over there. And then we went from Paris straight on to Russia, uh, where we did Moscow, Tbilisi in Georgia, and St. Petersburg. It was Leningrad then, that's why I'm pausing. Um, and then after that, we've toured around Europe. So we went to um, Italy, Palermo, um, I want to say Germany, um, Spain. Um, and then all over America, um, California, um, Wa uh, Washington State, Seattle, um, Ohio, Chicago. So a lot of places in, around the States, which actually was very nice for me to get to see other states that, other than New York. Um, but... And then we also went to um, South Africa. Um, that, was a, that was a good one. Oh, responses were really good. Or ev I would say everywhere we went, we got a good response. Because we were different. So you were at Dance Theatre now? I was at Dance Theatre for just under 10 years in total. No, I, I decided that was it. I, was, I, I think looking back on it, I might have tried to have gone into teaching. I would say highlight of my career was doing Peasant Par in Giselle. So it's kind of like the second lead male. Um, and I did that at like uh, Kennedy Center in Washington. And in New York, I did that. A couple of other places, actually. Um, but that was probably the biggest, the, yeah, yeah, the biggest highlight of my career. I think the lowest point was probably doing... Somebody been in, we were on tour and somebody had been injured and I was put to do the lead in Dougler, which I felt I wasn't really me to do that. And we had no, um, we'd not done it for a long time. I used to do, be in the core of that. And we hadn't done it for a long time. We had no rehearsals. 
and then we had a dress rehearsal and I didn't really know what I was doing and Arthur Mitchell shouted at me and everything and that was the day I was supposed to have been able to fly home because my sister was getting married. So I wasn't able to do it because we were on tour. I missed my sister's wedding and he's screaming at me and that probably was the worst. My, I've never told anyone that. My family. <laughs> you might have to cut that one. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. I don't know. Um, I mean, I was considered short, and I'm five foot eight. I don't think it's short, but Arthur Mitchell liked tall people. Um, I, I, I don't know how I would describe my... I, um, long legs, not overweight. I try and breathe in. I, I still think that you could really do with more black teachers, people who will have your back and your corner and help you progress. I, I, so much has changed for the positive since I started but I still think there's a long way to go. And it would be nice that you, you look at who's on stage and you don't think, oh, look, there's a couple of black people. That's nice. Yeah, I do. I think, it, I think the good that it can do and show kids you know, who, who maybe aren't as lucky, you know, they don't have parents that I had, you know, it, it shows them that they can do, they could either be a dance, they could be anything. Um, just, I think it helps make it more normal and, you know, to see that it is possible. I'm adopted. I would say I was a black person. If I had to put it on paper when they, you got a th million different ways to describe yourself, I would put black African and white British. There's a box, I can't remember how they say it now, but so originally my mother is white and my father was from Africa, was born in Africa. I grew up to believe that it was Ghana. Learn to move forward from who was, went before you. So I felt I, there was people I could, one of the things at dance theater was that you could step on somebody else's shoulders to move it all forwards and progress everything. And I think that's something that's important for kids.